Hello and welcome to the shed. Today's talk is in three parts. I hope you'll enjoy all three. Act one, scene one. A painting by Jules Breton, entitled A Girl with a Rake. I read you some of the information on it. Breton was concerned with portraying the plight of the working classes in rural France. In this picture, the young peasant girl pauses during her work of raking the harvest wheat into stacks. Behind her, three friends are busily engaged in their tasks. 1859, a painting by Jules Breton. Girl with a rake. I hope you can see uh, the detail of her face there. It's, a, it's a, a face with so much meaning and feeling in it. Uh, a young girl, a poor young girl, uh, working in rural France, 1859. Uh, picture taken from the National Gallery of Ireland. Act two, scene two. Ruth, chapter two, reading from verse three. So she, Ruth, went out and began to glean in the fields behind the harvesters. As it turned out, she found herself working in a field belonging to Boaz, who was from the clan of Elimelech. In other words, Boaz was a, a distant relative of hers by marriage. Ruth, working in the field. I don't know if she had a rake, but she's working in the field. <clears throat> a girl whose face, if we could have seen it, full of feeling. A girl who was grieving, loss of a husband. A girl who has lived through a crisis uh, in her life. A girl who was changed homes. She was from Moab, but now she's in Israel. She'd moved house. A girl with so much going on in her life. One thing at a time would have been enough, but everything seems to be happening in Ruth's life at the moment. But she finds herself in a field that belongs to this man, Boaz. A man of standing. A man of great wealth. And it turns out, as the story unfolds, that there's an amazing plan here. God, in his providence and in his goodness, has brought Ruth to this place where she meets Boaz. It's not chance. It's not being in the right place at the right time. God is at work here. It's, it's amazing. And Boaz notices Ruth. He has, he, has, he has his eye on her. And he says to the servants, oh, tell me more about this, this, this girl working in the field. And, she, and they tell him. And he says, listen, when she's thirsty, make water available. When she's hungry, make food available. And in fact, and there's another little part of this uh, lovely story, is as she's working, get the reapers to, to purposefully drop grain in her way, in her path. Handfuls, put handfuls of grain for her. And so we see this man, Boaz, a man of great wealth and standing. He's drawn to this girl and provides. And we see the providence of God. Having Ruth at the right place in the right time and really 
blessing her. It's wonderful, isn't it? And of course, as the story unfolds, Boaz and Ruth get married. They have children. Of that line comes King David. And of that line, even our Saviour himself, uh, born into that family line. Act 3. Boy with a rake. <laughs> oh, man with a rake. <laughs> Old man with a rake. <laughs> and uh, listen, this, this message is for us. But God has his eye on us. God loves us. And in his providence, we have had this counter with our Boaz, <laughs> Jesus himself, a man of great standing, a man of great wealth, a man who is able to help us in our need. And as we consider this today, all that we pass through in life, its ups and downs, its twists and turns, it's sad times, it's happy times, it's times of change, like Ruth, times of crisis, like we've been living through and are still in to some degree. Man with a rake, you with a rake in your hand, and God notices you. And it's not chance, it's not uh, fortune, God has a plan for you. God loves you. And God provides what we need. Water of life. Bread of life. Our saviour. And yes, our saviour still gives instructions. Listen. Purposefully leave handfuls of blessings. For my, for my servants there. Isn't it lovely? And God bless you today. And whatever you are going through, whatever is happening in your life, may you know the care and the love of God providing all that you need. God is sovereign. He's on the throne. He's working his purposes out. He has a plan for you plan to do you good. I'm going to close with a, a verse from one of my favourite hymns, Great Providence of Heaven. What wonders shine in its profound display of God's design. It guards the dust of earth, commands the horse above, fulfils the mighty plan of his great love. God bless you. And have a good day. Amen.